Very warm welcome to the Trading Bells show. Hope you're keeping well and thank you so much for really tuning in. Of course, this show is all about matters, investments and where you can get to invest yourself and your money so that at least you can get better returns as well. Now, today we're going to focus on something different, on how you can invest outside this country. We're talking about investing in the UK on matters real estate. And we have the CEO in the house who is going to be helping us understand uh, how to get into that. And that is none other than Mark Pearson, the CEO and co-founder at Baron Cabot. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. It's good to have you here. And, you know, one of the key questions that our viewers would want to understand is what is uh, Baron Cobalt all about in the UK? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So our, um, the, the company that we've built is uh, really fine helping international investors and local UK mm -hmm. investors yeah. find the safest and highest returning property investments in England. Mm -hmm. So our focus has always been on looking at the property as an asset finding the best returning and then building the, the process flow to allow the client to easily invest, get a mortgage, regardless of where they are in the world, mm -hmm. but then also have the, the follow-up process so the property fully managed for them. You okay. know, so they, you, know, you could be sat anywhere in the world, mm -hmm. get all the information and the training on how to invest in the UK, but then mm -hmm. also have a product there that you'll be able to buy within your um, criteria, within your um, really how much you want to spend. Okay. We manage all that and then rent the property out for you at the end. So we do a, a, a sort of 360 degree process for international clients. So it's more like stress free for anyone who feels like they want to own a property in the UK. Yeah, absolutely. We, <laughs> we deal with investors. Mm -hmm. uh, investors already have jobs and they have busy lives. Yeah. And, and our job is to, to, to look at a property as if it's just an asset. Mm -hmm like buying a bond, you just buy it. Absolutely. Um, we can manage it for you and you can judge us on the returns that you get. And that's ultimately what we're trying to do. Okay. Well, real estate, I mean, we're coming from a season first before I even get to the other questions that I have. It's a season where it was quite heat hard by especially the pandemic that we had. Yes. I think we're just getting out of it now. Um, there, there was some news years back um, about sometimes the market being heated as well. So it has some elements of risk and we'll be talking about that later. Yeah. But you have set base in Kenya and I just want to know, uh, is there something special about us or something? <laughs> of course <laughs> yeah, you're of here. Course. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, um, Kenya's important. Um, Kenya's got a, a, you know, a, a, a huge growing middle class, okay. educated middle class who has starting to look globally for investments. Okay. So not just in property investments, we're seeing our investors are looking at various yeah. different um, investments outside of Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, there's more wealth, uh, there's more understanding, the world seems smaller. Yeah. Um, there's now, from the time when I started in the industry to now, mm -hmm. there's all the data that you'd ever need mm -hmm. uh, for a property purchase or you know, an investment in the UK is all available online. So we okay. have so much power now. You know, and, um, one of your investors who, who wants to work with us has the same amount of data that, that we do. Okay. We just, uh, there's just so much data now that we help them collate that together so they know the investment strategy and why certain areas of the UK mm -hmm. are better suited to them than others. So can you, um, we're offering a, an alternative um, for the, uh, a Kenyan's portfolio, mm -hmm. somewhere that they can de-risk themselves if there's volatility in the Kenyan market. We're able to offer uh, a, a de-risked investment okay. in a currency that's, that's fairly stable. Okay, great. Uh, before we get into how to invest into this, let's just get to understand what's in your menu because yeah. real estate is quite a vast yes. industry in itself. So yeah. what do you have to offer? Yeah, R real estate, the biggest challenge with real estate is there's not just one product for everybody. You know, there's, there's thousands and thousands mm -hmm. and we have up to 4,000 properties at any one time available for a client. Yeah. Which is why our starting point is always understanding you, the client. You know, it's always the, we have a lot of people that say, okay, just send me everything. Send yeah. me everything you have. <laughs> and yeah, the challenge with that is different parts of England will do different things for a client. Okay. Some people are looking for higher immediate returns. Some people are looking for higher growth, higher return on investment. Some yeah. people want to use the property. Mm -hmm. You know, so it has to be in an area of the UK they want to visit. Absolutely. So we, ha we have a range. Um, pricing wise, we have a range from anywhere between £120,000 all the way mm -hmm. up to £2 million. Pounds. Okay. You know, so we have a range there. Mm -hmm. For a client, a Kenyan client, normally that means you need to put down about 25 to 35% of that amount 
and okay. then the mortgage will pay the rest. So that's how we uh, leverage for the client. Okay, that's great. You know, one of the key questions that any, any investor who is interested to, you know, jump into this uh, wagon is to ask, are you regulated, are you legal here, and yeah. are, are all the parameters legally uh, well kept? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, okay. we, we've, um, within the UK, property is not a regulated market anyways, but okay. the way that we, the way that the UK is, if you look at the, the charts of transparency, mm -hmm. the UK is always at the top or near the top for property yeah. investment. Okay. The reason that is, is every single property transaction has to go through a solicitor. Mm -hmm. And the solicitors in the UK are what's called SRA regulated, yeah. right, which is a government regulation. Mm -hmm. um, so what that means is when you invest, you don't put any money across to us or the developer. Okay. The money goes through a solicitor. You can pick your solicitor. We, okay. we have a, a group of solicitors who are also signed up with your mortgage company. Okay. But, and what they'll do is they go through the due diligence. So they'll take th uh, normally 30 to 60 days okay. of checking every everything that we've done, everything that you know, the contractor's done, absolutely everything. Yeah. Um, and that protects you. So all your money goes through them. Mm -hmm. Now, they're also insured. Yeah. So if they make a mistake, which you know, so far we've not had, but if they did, <laughs> they have insurance in place yeah. uh, to, to protect you. So mm -hmm. all of your money's then insured that okay. you put through that solicitor. So we're okay. very keen on that process. Mm -hmm. As an addition to that, because they're insured, you have an insurance company mm -hmm. cross-checking this lister, making sure they're doing everything correctly to make sure that, you know, because they're insuring them. Okay. So there's a fairly robust system in the UK mm -hmm. to protect clients. All and right. that's what we've leveraged off glo globally. All right. I think one other question as well is locally here in Kenya, because we have our own regulations. And I'm speaking about this because previously we have had, let me use the word dubious, guys yes. who have come in and have said, hey, you know, it has not been actually abroad, but locally as well. We yeah. have had people who have promised, you know, great returns, yes. you know, invest here and there. And people have ended up going back to the Capital Markets Authority or the regulators to ask, hey, did you even do your homework on what company is this before we threw in our money? Yes. So the question is, locally as well, do you have, you know, your homework done as well? Yeah, so within the local market, the, yeah. the clients are welcome to use a, a Kenyan solicitor as well. You know, yeah. so you can, okay. you can liaise with the Kenyan solicitor. Okay. If they're not regulated in England, okay. they can often what uh, clients will do is they'll use a solicitor they know here mm -hmm. and they bought with before okay. to cross check the work of a solicitor in the UK. So okay. we, we try and encourage as much as that as possible. Okay. Our job as a company, mm -hmm. from the start, from mm -hmm. the very first week that we traded, yeah. we, we, our initial strap line was confidence through clarity. Excellent. Um, and our job was, we believe, and still to this day believe, that if we can educate the client yeah. and give them everything to cross-check on us, mm -hmm. we, we have a stronger position. Because all we need to do then is, is work on the best properties or the most protected properties. So our, our first job is always, we look for, we make sure the client doesn't lose money as our yeah. starting point, and yeah. we look at uh, return on investment as a secondary. Okay, excellent. Let's now, I'm sold out, let's talk about how do I get in, <laughs> well, you know? <laughs> Um, how do I start investing? Where do I start from? Yes. Yeah. So tr normally we, we have we do we've been starting to do some seminars in uh, in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So we'll be quite regularly out here. We have one coming up quite soon. Um, okay. On Thursday. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, we have uh, specialists who are trained. Uh, they're not in Kenya at the moment. We're currently right. training um, the, the office in Kenya mm -hmm. it, to become a specialist in the UK market or, or more specialist. Okay. Uh, in a, a, the actual advice part of it, you know, we're still um, we're still working with that. But we have um, staff trained to work with Kenyans, and there's there's some intricacies with every country investing okay. in, in in England. So there's certain intricacies that we work with. And then they're also trained in the UK. Mm -hmm. So these people have been through uh, various training, like myself, as either surveyors or, mm -hmm. you know, they have some sort of property background in England. So okay. what we tend to do is we have a first meeting mm -hmm. with a client whereby they're able to put out all their thoughts, fears, you know, if there's, if there's anxiety about while well, moving a whole load of money to England, we'll give them a full breakdown of how to go and cross check that. You know, right. if they're not happy, that's fine. We don't mm. charge for meetings or anything like that. Yeah. Um, so, and then we go through normally three or four meetings, generally on a Zoom, mm -hmm. and uh, before the client then makes a decision as to whether an investment in the UK is better for them, or maybe they found something at, in, at home or in the US. Okay. There's a perception, and I would want you to probably paint it out, yep. that property abroad, UK, could be super expensive. Yeah. Is that the case? <laughs> 
Um, well, no, um, comparatively speaking, mm -hmm. yeah. um, in, compared to Kenya, mm -hmm. you'll be surprised. Uh, we found that uh, even the likes of Mombasa, so, you know, a, I guess you'd call Mombasa the second city to Nairobi. Absolutely, yeah. The equivalent in the UK, the equivalent second city of the mm -hmm. UK mm -hmm. is about 15% more expensive. Mm -hmm. But the average salary in the UK is about yeah. six times that. Higher so, than. Yeah, so yeah. as an investment, as an investment, we're looking at really the, the core um, beliefs for us as investors mm -hmm. is we're looking at supply and demand. Okay. There's a huge undersupply in the UK. So yeah. It's a small island, right? You know, there's okay. a big undersupply. Mm -hmm. There's a big over demand. We're not keeping up with property building at all in the mm -hmm. UK yeah. ever since it was privatized in the um, in the, the 80s. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we've got that. And then we also have affordability. Okay. Prices can only go up if, if it's affordable for okay. the local market. Mm -hmm. While international investors are important, mm -hmm. it's the local market that keeps it consistent. Otherwise, it's up and down. If they're all holiday homes, the market can, be, uh, you know, can go up and down quite a lot. The consistency comes from wealth in that area. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, so I think from your client's perspective, mm -hmm. you're, you can certainly be buying property in the UK at almost identical prices as Kenya. Wow. And that's, that's quite new to a lot of our clients that we're dealing with. Yeah, it's quite new, definitely, when to be. <laughs> so let's talk about now the marketing itself, just yep. generally as a sector in the UK. Yes. From your perspective, um, you know, like here locally now, I think, I think there's an appetite now. There's quite some growth. The population is also growing. There's yeah. demand. The government is also talking about, you know, building affordable housing for people and all that. Yeah. How is the market at your place? Is it saturated? Is it, is, are, there, are there open opportunities? How is it? Yeah, good question. And it's, it's something that we work on. Every city in England is completely different. You know, yeah. it's part of the work that we do because mm -hmm. there's some... Almost all of England is um, undersupplied, yeah. you know, quite the opposite of any saturation. We're, we're about 130,000 properties a year short on what we need to build. So oh. virtually impossible for us to keep up. Um, okay. So, and then the market, because the UK is considered globally as, mm -hmm. a, as a safe market, you okay. know, as it's still an investment and it's important to understand that it's an investment, but as investments go, yeah. it's, it's, it's in the region of bonds and things like that as, as people you know, consider it in terms of their risk profile. Mm -hmm. So we've seen when there was uncertainty in the market around COVID and, and we, you know, we're all still, you know, hopefully coming out the, the far end of that. I think, sure all, your, think. Yeah. all your viewers will hope that we're, <laughs> we're nearly finished with that. But yeah. with, with uncertainty in the market, people mm -hmm. start looking for certainty. Yeah. And uh, the UK was one that, w which afforded that to international clients and yeah. local clients. Yeah. So what we found is, in the UK, we've had some of the highest growth in property prices over the last year, okay. which is probably slightly different to what some people expected, but that, that growth is continuing on now. As we come out of the pandemic, post-pandemic, mm -hmm. the, the countries that will perform the best are the ones that can stimulate their economy the most. And we believe that England is right up there with it on the global uh, field, as it were. Okay. Uh, and, and we believe that it's a good place for Kenyans and, and Africans in general, we, you know, we're, we're across Africa at the moment, you know, uh, we, we believe it's a really good place to, to invest and de-risk yourself. All right, fair enough. So one of the key investing principles across the board is that never invest in something you don't understand. Yes. And there could be people interested saying, wow, okay, sounds like an opportunity. Yep. I have a chance to own a home yep. in the UK and all that. And of course, I love the fact that you said you, you organize in seminars here and there yep. so that people can get to understand the opportunities that exist. Yep. But there could be someone who may not be able to come to the seminar or something. And the key question will be, what are the avenues of investor information so that at least they can come and understand, uh, okay, these are the uh, goes to all those kind of things around this market. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's really important. We have um, various uh, seminars recorded on our websites and, and things like that. So okay. you can go on our Twitter page, Facebook, on our website and find a lot of, uh, lot of information if you're nervous about speaking to somebody. But <laughs> the, the best, the, by far the best way is we have specialists who are trained. Not yeah. gonna, they don't charge you. You know, mm -hmm. you, you know you, you're not being charged for meetings with them. Yeah. They organize Zoom meetings. Uh, and the first Zoom meeting is so important for everybody. We mm -hmm. don't want anybody to invest without going through these. Yeah. You know, if you came with money straight away, we'd still ask you to, to sit and learn with us. Mm -hmm. Because the important factor for us is understanding a broad 
a broad understanding of the UK market, okay. how things work. Mm -hmm. we, we show you around mm -hmm. a background into our company, yeah. a background into what's happening in the UK at the moment. Yeah. We have a map that we walk around with specific areas of England that mm -hmm. are suitable for you and your budget, mm -hmm. right? And then we share all of the information via email. So mm -hmm. you can cross check, not just what we've said, but you can actually cross check that that exists and you know, the, the data matches that. And we'll show you exactly where to find all that information. Okay. The second meeting, we tend to do more of a micro mm -hmm. view with you. So yeah. once you've had a read through all the information, we sit and we have a micro view of it, whereby it's very important for us, once we've picked out a couple of cities that seem reasonable, we go into detail, and that detail's on you specifically. What okay. is your mortgage rate? Mm -hmm. What would your return on investment be? Mm -hmm. what, is, what is all the details costs for you specifically? So you're able to get a really firm understanding of, here's all of my costs, here's my true return on investment. Not okay. just, here's the property price, my deposit, but yeah. how much does the solicitor cost? You know, mm -hmm. what other fees are involved in a purchase of a property? Okay. We put all of that together for you, and you can do a real like-for-like -like comparison with whatever else you're investing in at that current time. Okay, fair enough. Let's talk about, uh, finally, I mean, the risk element, because they say yeah. in every investment, it's, it's always a risk yes. in it, and, and I'm sure you're the one right in the center of it, so yeah. you'll help an investor get to know yes. that, you know what, uh, when you're getting in here, consider this and this as some of the risk factors. So what would you say on that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we go through the same process. So on, on a larger scale, when we're taking on new areas to invest in, new developments to invest in, mm -hmm. because we don't just work with individual clients to buy once, we work with private wealth firms and funds around the world. Yeah. It means that we also, have three, four, five months before it gets shown to any client, mm -hmm. we're doing a huge amount of due diligence. And oh, yeah. that's my background, and that's really what we're, um, what we have to look at. Okay. With every investment comes risk. We have completed projects and we have off-plan projects. Mm -hmm. You know, an off-plan project, the risk is always that it wouldn't complete. You know, and that's something you always have to understand is that the risk within that. Mm -hmm. So our, our job is to de-risk that situation. Okay. Um, we do that in many ways. Mm -hmm. One of the ways is that any investment that's made on a property, mm -hmm. all of our properties are funded by banks. Yeah. So we're not, we're not requiring your money to build, mm -hmm. right? Which means that it's, it reduces the chance of it being delayed mm -hmm. because the bank will come and every section of the build, they'll give us more money to go and build or they'll give the contractors more money to go and build, right? That's, that's the process that we work with. Okay. Um, and ultimately, when you put down, say you put down 20% as a investment into the property, mm -hmm. Half of that is in escrow, mm -hmm. so just held by the solicitor. Yeah. The other half is insured. Okay. And we have something in the UK mm -hmm. that we utilize in every single one of our builds, okay. which is called a long stop date. Mm -hmm. A long stop date means that if we go, if, if long stop date might be six months after the completion date. Okay. If that date gets hit, mm -hmm. no matter how close it is to being finished, every investor gets their money back or okay. is entitled to their money back if they want it back. Right. Because it's insured and in escrow, it's all there. Yeah. You know, it's there, it's not, nobody spent it, it's all there to, mm -hmm. to get back. Mm -hmm. So that's how we de-risk de that. Yeah. In terms of all of our properties, we have a 112-point due diligence checklist we go through. Wow. So even if you were uh, living in England, uh, using a you know, bank to buy your home for mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have anywhere near the amount of um, information that we go through and give to all of our investors. Um, wow, lovely. I, I think uh, I would want to ask you to end this by giving us a parting shot. There is an investor, they are interested, but even before you give the parting shot, tell me, just hit me now. Are there any government restrictions? Because I'm a foreigner if I'm yeah. investing. Are there some restrictions that would end up hitting me when I'm about to get my return? Yeah, no, no there's no. <laughs> The, um, the UK market is, is, yeah. is driven by investments and global investments. Okay. Um, UK is even, you know, at the moment, it's even more looking for international investments post-European mm -hmm. Union, you oh. know, the exit from the European Union. Yeah, know? they did, yeah. You know, we're even more encouraged by uh, international investments. But as a country, it's always encouraged uh, investments. Mm -hmm. If you're giving the, you know, if you're putting money into England, the government <laughs> love you. So there's a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, Alrighty. no, yeah. there's absolutely... You, you get exactly the same uh, uh, protection. You get exactly yeah. the, same, the same process. Okay. If you live in Kenya and you're buying through is if you were in England. It's yeah. exactly the same. There's no difference at all. Okay, lovely. Now, but in short, I would like you to look straight at the camera because there'll be investors looking at you. Okay. Tell them why they need to consider getting into this sure. real estate market through you. Okay, elevator <laughs> yeah. pitch. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, the absolute, the, the, the thing that we need to look at is de-risking your portfolio. If you have money to invest now and you're looking at opportunities 
in Kenya or globally, one of the places you should be looking at is the UK. It just has to be on your, within the, uh, the, the, the different investments you're looking at. We can get you an, uh, a mortgage, so every person in Kenya can get a mortgage. That would be anywhere between three and a half to maximum 6% rate, that's including base rates, so that's everything in there. So we can get you a mortgage, you can invest from 25 to 35% on the property, so you can leverage your property and you'd be investing in one of the oldest, uh, most consistent markets in the world. Wow. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to buy one. <laughs> I, I gonna, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe after this we're going to have a chat. Yeah. I might get a better discount, you never know. <laughs> so there you have it. That's me, Mark Pearson, CEO and co-founder Baron Cobot. And uh, really speaking about the property market, maybe it's the time actually right now to invest and get to own a property in the UK. I think I'm considering that. That's it. Up next is the markets.